this problem, we have an array of three electrical charges placed on the x-axis. Two of the three charges are held fixed, and a third one moves. We're given the acceleration of that third charge and asked to find its mass. There are a few things we want to consider in this problem. First, we have to look at what Newton's second law tells us about how force, mass, and acceleration are related to one another. Next, we'll need to use Coulomb's law, F equals K Q1 Q2 over R squared, to determine the individual forces, which we can then put together to determine the net force. Finally, in this problem, we want to be very careful with units. There's some different metric prefixes here. We have to be really careful with the units to get the right answer here. What we're going to do is to find the net force exerted here on the charge at the origin, the three picocoulomb charge. We know that the charge of six microcoulombs at 0.04 meters exerts a force this way. We could call that F1. Similarly, there's a charge here at 0.08 meters, the 12 microcoulomb charge. That's going to exert a second force over here. We could call that F2. What we'll do is use Coulomb's law to calculate each of these two forces individually. We'll then add those two forces together, F1 plus F2, divide that by the acceleration provided, and that in turn will give us the mass. Let's be careful. It looks like the way the problem was stated, uh, there was some question about the value of the charge here at 0.04. I think that probably should be microcoulombs rather than pico. And if we do use 6 times 10 to the negative 6 for charge 2, we do get one of the answers that is available to you. So in the text below, what I'll be doing is using the values here to calculate F1 and F2, adding those together and dividing by acceleration to determine the mass of the particle at the origin.